What's up guys, Vincent is here. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Quick Control in order to make your Roland Phantom a better MIDI controller and control different features for VST plugins. Actually, previously I did another video and I showed you how we can use all these knobs and these faders in order to control different functions in Cubase, but this time, I'm going to focus on quick control only. The difference is with quick control, you can control different functions for your VST plugins. And it's gonna be a cool thing because your Roland will be able to control your VST plugin sounds and functionalities. I, as you know, recently Roland uh, launched uh, a new update called EX Update. With that update, you can uh, have your Roland Phantom more compatible with Cubase and Studio One. But even though you got EX Update, this video will be helpful for you because you will learn how to customize your Roland with individual VST plugins. But before you start, I would like to ask you to support my channel with like and subscribe, that would be a great help for me. Okay, let's start it. Okay, let's have a look to my screen here. I have a pad line here and I have pad shop for it. And let's uh, go to my Roland uh, and uh, make the first zone an external line. In order to do so, just hold shift and press number one this button became green, that means zone one, controlling your external line, which is your VST plugins. Okay, let's go back to patch up right now. If you look to the patch shop and let's see what we got there. Okay, that's a cool sound, but right now, if I want to make any changes on these features on Patch Shop, I have to do it manually with my uh, mouse and play with them. But what if I want to control these features using these knobs on my Roland Phantom? In order to do so, you can use Quick Control. The way you can access to your quick control is to go down here and go to MIDI remote. As you can see on re MIDI remote, no MIDI controller connected to my Cubis right now. So I press add and I'll be here and I will select the vendor. I go for Roland. Okay, we got Roland there. The model is Phantom. So I put Phantom. You can put a name there and for your input port, you may go for Phantom 6, 7, 8. And for your output port, you may go for Phantom 6, 7, 8, the same. Okay, now it's time to create your MIDI controller surface. Press this. Let me make this one bigger for you. Okay, let's and make four knobs first. Okay, as you can see on the left side, you got different features. Let's go for the knob first and here you have it. And now on my Roland, I will go for the first knob on the top and I will move it a little bit. Okay. As you can see, I got my first knob there. Then I go for the second one. I move it. So I got the second, the same. I move the third one. I will get the third and the same for the fourth one. Right now we got four knobs on this surface. Let's try and make four faders or sliders. So select fader. As you can see, the shape changed. You can move it around. And if you want, you can also resize it. And I will go for the first fader on my Roland. I will move it a little bit. And I got the first fader. I go for the second fader. I got the second here. I move the third one here. I got the third. And the same for the fourth one. Okay. Now we got four sliders. You know, now it's time to assign functions to these features. In order to do so, go to Mapping Assistant. Okay, and then you will be on this page. And again, as you can see, you got your four knobs, your faders, 
and you can move them around so you can play with them to see if they're working they works well now it's time to assign functions so i select the first knob here and i will go to focus quick control and i will double click on qc1 which is stand for quick control one double click on it and select the second knob and then click, double click on qc2 and second third one qc3 fourth one qc4 now it's time to go for the faders okay i select the first fader qc5 qc6 seventh and eight good now we assign quick control to the knobs and the faders now it's time to go back to patch shop and see what's going on there let's close this page and let me make it smaller and go back to patch up again in order to use your quick control on your vst you must use this button qc button here once you click on this you can see these features you can turn turn them on turn turn uh, turn them off or turn them on so you have your eight functions on your QC. By default, they're assigned to some features. If you want, you can remove those functions. In order to do so, just go to this button, remove all QC, and press remove all. They became empty. And now it's time to assign different functions. Right now, you are able to assign and control eight uh functions on your patch shop with your controller on uh, uh roland so in order to do so press this learn button so press this and you will see your knobs and faders became activated i select the first one which is my first knob on my roland and let's assign it to for example cutoff okay this one Move it a little bit and it will assign to the first knob. Let's go for the second knob here. Select this and let's go for level, for example. Okay, I move a le level a little bit and it will assign to the second. Go for the third one. Let's assign it to the rate, for example. Okay, the fourth one. Let's assign it to speed. Okay. Oh, sorry, I should select fourth one first and then go for a speed okay now speed assigned to the fourth one the fifth one which is my first slider or fader okay let's go and assign this one to the first fader the second one to the second fader third one here to this one and the last one to this one okay Oh, sorry. First select it and then move the function you want. Now we are all assigned and you can turn off your learn button. Okay, I'll click on this and now I can control my faders on my patch shop. So as you can see, this is much more easier because once you play, you can control different features with your Roland Phantom. So it's much more easier to make changes on your sound or control different parameters. Let's go and try another VST plugins. The good news is once you turn off your computer and return back another day and open Patch Shop, this setup will be remain with your Patch Shop and you don't need to make any save or something unless you change it yourself. Okay? 
So let's close patch up and go to the second line. I got Helion 6 there and let's open it. And there I got <clears throat> Anima. Okay, let's see what we got there. We will do the same story for Anima. So I click QC button and I will get my functions for my quick control. Press remove, remove all and press learn button. I go for the first one and I will assign it to this filter. The second one to filter resonance. Third one, filter distortion. The fourth one, filter attack. Fifth one, which is my first slider. Filter again, amp. Seventh to multi delay mix and the last one reverb mix. Okay, as you can see, now it's time to turn off your learn button first, and now it's time to play. Okay, for example, as you can see, I can control my knobs on Cubase with these faders. Okay, so they works well, they all works working well. same gonna be for your knobs so you can play with them at the same time make changes on your sound let's try something else let's close Helion 6 and go to the third line I have a piano sound on uh, from Heaviosity this is um, yeah accent okay As you can see here also I have a lot of features so I can play with them so I can adjust so just press QC and you'll be on this page you have your uh, functions for your quick control let's uh, <clears throat> remove the functions and press learn go for the first one and assign it to delay Go to the second one and assign it to AMT and third one to the mix, for example. Oh, sorry. AMT and the third one to the mix and the fourth one to the size. Okay. This is my first slider. Okay. And uh, let's go down, go to the setting so we can go for different pages for different parameters. Okay. Let's assign it to this slider, okay? The other one to this one, oops, and this one to the third one, okay? Now it's time to turn off my learn button. And as you can see, once I move my sliders, they can control my parameters on my ascent. <laughs> And if I go back to this page again, I can control features on my uh, ascent environments. So this is how you can customize your Roland Phantom with individual um, VST plugins. Even though right now I close ascent and go back to patch shop, the setup will be the same as we did for the first time for patch shop. So my Roland customized for different VST plugins easily, and it's really good feature. I do suggest you to go for it and um, <clears throat> play with it and make your customized MIDI controller. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment if you have any questions. I will be happy to answer them. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.